Hello everyone. Welcome to the Solid House. Today we are going to assemble the gearbox. This is the fifth video of the gearbox design and also the final one. Okay. Let's start to assemble. First of all, I need to open assemble part and open insert component to the interface. Open casing and then open pinion gear shaft like this way then we need to make these two parts to create the assemble model these two surfaces should be co-centric select these two surfaces and click mate Click on co-centric and OK. Then we need to create a width mate. Go to advanced mate and click width mate. Its selections are these two surfaces. And the tab selections are these two surfaces. OK. Click OK. Then you can see the pinion gear shaft is assembled to the casing like this way. We can rotate the pinion gear shaft like this way. Okay. Then insert components. Insert output shaft. And we need to create some mates for the assemble part. these two surfaces should be co-centric select these two surfaces by pressing control key on the keyboard click mate select co-centric and click align ok then again we need to create a with mate for this part also Go to the advanced mate and select with mate. Which selections are these two surfaces? And tap selections are these two surfaces of the casing. Okay. Then you can see the output shaft is assembled to the casing like this way. We can rotate the output shaft like this way. Okay. Then we need to add another gear wheel for the output shaft. For that case, we are trying to get a gear wheel from design library of the SolidWorks software. Go to the design library, select ANSI metric and then go to the power and transmissions, click gears and drag a spur gear to the interface like this way then we need to set parameters the module is 2.0 the number of teeth should be 66 the pressure angle is 20 face width is 25 millimeters there is no any hub style it is none nominal shaft diameter is 35 millimeters one keyway is rectangular one then click ok close then we need to add some mates to the gear wheel then go to the mate these two surfaces should be co-centric then select this surface and also this surface these two should be parallel ok then you can see the output gear wheel is assembled to the output gear shaft like this way then we need to create another with mate for the gear wheel go to the advanced mate and click with mate 
which selections are these two surfaces of the gear wheel and tap selections are these two surfaces of the casing okay then we assemble gear wheel to output gear shaft it is already completed we can rotate the gear wheel and also the output gear shaft like this way right okay then we are going to create a mechanical mate to both two gear wheels go to the mate and click mechanical mate gears select this edge and also this edge we don't need to change any parameters just click ok close then you can see when we rotate one gear wheel the other gear wheel also rotating like this way ok the gear mate is already completed then insert bearing locks two bearing locks okay then copy these two there are two components for each blocks these two surfaces should be co-centric select these two surfaces and click mate then select co-centric click ok then this surface and this surface should be coincide go to the mate and select coincide mate and click ok right then you can see this bearing lock is rotating we need to stop that one close click on this and select top plane of the bearing lock and then select this surface click mate and make these two references as coincide ok then you can see the bearing lock is not rotating then this surface and this surface should be cocentric ok then this one and this surface also coincide again we need to create another mate for rotating stop the rotating of the bearing lock then we need to create the mate like this way select top plane of the bearing lock and this surface of the casing and go to the mate make as coincide ok again do same thing for this side also click these two surfaces and make as cocentric ok then select this surface and also this surface make as coincide ok then click this surface and also this surface make as cocentric click align I think it is ok let me check this one close hide this component ok it is already done 
then we need to create another mate for this part also select this surface and this surface make as coincide okay then we need to stop the rotating of the bearing lock do same thing as the previous one select top plane of the bearing lock and select this surface make as coincide okay do the same thing for this one also select top plane of that one and select this surface make as coincide okay then go to the assemble and select show hidden component this part should be visible okay then you can see the gearbox assembly is already completed then we need to add bearings to the gearbox for that case we need use design library go to the nsi metric and then select bearings roller bearings select radial cylindrical bearing drag a bearing to the interface then we need to select a bearing from the bearing catalog size is 28-25 which has 25 millimeters of bore diameter and out diameter is 37 thickness is 8 millimeters the number of rollers are 24 at case ok the bearing is selected click ok we need 4 bearings for the gearbox close then we need to mate these 4 bearings to the casing select this surface and also the surface go to the mate make as co-centric ok then select the surface and this surface also make as coincide ok then delete this bearing we need we can mirror bearing to other side we need two bearings okay then again select this surface and this surface go to the mate and select coincide okay then click this surface and also this surface make as coincide then we can mirror these two mate bearings to other side go to the mirror component and then select front plane of the casing mirror as the mirror plane the mirror components are these two bearings then click ok then you can see the mirror feature is created like this way this is the 3d assemble model of the gearbox then you can rotate this shaft you can input some rotation to this shaft and get some output from the this shaft okay hope you enjoy this video try to do this your best see you next time thank you